Today, we're looking at how we're made. Ooh, selfie time. Here, do one of me. I've got a new ouch face. Zand, that is exactly the same as all your other ouch faces. Anyway, no selfies. I'm using my new Parent Swap app. I just need to do this. And there we go. Ah, why have I got Mum's face and you've got Dad's face? Now, don't panic, Zand. My Parent Swap app is to show that you and I have inherited our looks from our Mum and Dad. Let me just try this. There we go. Perhaps you had better switch it back. Uh, <clears throat> seems a little glitchy. I'll, I'll fiddle with it later. We inherit many physical features of our bodies. But how exactly? Well, everyone begins life as two cells. An egg from a woman and a sperm from a man. And when these two meet and combine, you are created! And I have just the things to help us explain this. Ta-da! This is an egg and in front of you, Chris, is a sperm. Now, you can see how different they are in size to each other. But the human egg is the largest cell in the human body, but it's still only the thickness of a human hair. Sperm cells, on the other hand, are 30 times smaller than an egg. Now, both the sperm and the egg carry the instructions for how to make a human. All right, Chris, are you ready? Let's open them up. Now, this string represents DNA, a thread-like molecule that is the molecule of life. And on the DNA is written in code the instructions for every single part of a human being. And each little group of instructions are called genes. So here we've got the genes for eye colour, here we've got the genes for foot size, and here we've got the genes for how long or short your legs are. Now, you inherit two copies of every gene, one from the egg, and one from the sperm. So I also have genes for eyes, foot size and leg length. OK, Chris, you know what time it is? It's about 5.30, I think. Wrong! It's time to make a human! <laughs> right, Chris, we're going to start with the feet. Pick your feet, genes, and begin down here. Next up, the lower limb and the rest of the body, too. Well, aren't it certainly taking shape, but what about the hair genes? Well, Chris, the hair genes from the egg are blonde, so it looks like our human is going to have blonde hair. Well, not so fast, Sand, because the sperm has a set of genes that code for black hair. But you only use one gene, so when we pair the genes up, the dark hair usually comes out on top. So it looks like, actually, our human's going to have black hair. And what about earlobes, Zand? The sperm has genes that code for attached earlobes. But the earlobe genes from the egg code for unattached earlobes, and those genes are dominant. If you've got both sets, your earlobes will be unattached. But Zand, what about the sex? Well, your biological sex is determined by big, bundles of genes called chromosomes. Now, most girls have two X chromosomes, and most boys have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. The egg always carries an X. Now, sperm can have an X or a Y, so it's actually the sperm that determines the biological sex that you're born with. And in this case, the sperm has another X. So our human will be XX. My creation is complete. I will call them Zandina, a female with dark hair and unattached earlobes. And now, Chris, it's time to bring them to life. Zand, you can't actually make a human like this. Safety first, Chris. Put these on. I demand a million bolts! This end isn't even attached. Three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chris and Zard. I did it! Chris, I'm a genius! Well, welcome to the lab! Thanks, Zard! This is amazing! The fame! The international recognition, the awards I've always known I deserved. Finally, I'm going to get them, thanks 
to my creation, Zandina. Zand, this is not Zandina. I think the fumes have got to him. This is Dr. Ronk. She's the new member of the Operation Ouch team. She's the third doctor. Oh! Well, hi! Welcome to the team! It's great to have you on board! Thanks!